G'day guys, I've just been asked to uh, give you a bit of a rundown on uh, some specific torque settings when you're doing a bit of maintenance on your motorcycle. Um, it is very important that you do get the right settings. I know that everyone's not going to have one of these things. This is a, a digital torque wrench. But if you can get yourself one, and if you are concerned about it, get one. Because these, um, especially I've seen a lot of bikes come into the workshop with loose axles, loose spark plugs, loose bolts. And if you're not sure, this is the only way you can really do it. If you're doing your home services or safety checks, you can do this and you can be on top of things so you're not going to have bits falling off going down the road. That's not good. I've made a list up of uh, different settings, but the guys will put this up on in a list later on. This is very, very important. Um, the rear axle is a big bolt and it needs to be done tight. 80 Newton metres, you've got to give a give or take two or three, don't be, have to be too precise, but 80 Newton metres is a good number for that bolt as well as the front axle bolt. You can do your foot peg bolts and the swing arm bolt all up around that tension because they're big bolts and they need to be tight. You've got to know how to do a chain tension. That's something you can pick up on the website too. Do that, get your adjustments right and then go about your torque settings using this so you're familiar with it. You don't have to use it every time. I guess you've become familiar with it by using the tools. First up though, familiarise yourself with what you're using. Specifically, your axles, all these bolts on the outside, they've all got torque settings. Um, they're a different size thread, so they'll take a different tension. Some are in steel, some are alloy, so they'll be different again. Yeah, so looking at the front end, you've got all the pinch bolts, triple clamps, the front axle pinch bolts. If you have to take your front wheel out, these will be undone. You've got your front axle the same as a rear axle, 80 Newton metres. The pinch bolts, they're just a simple one. You can check them so you're familiar and make sure they are tight. We've got a setting. And it's pretty easy to follow. Now every bolt is going to have a different setting. Um, there's going to be a specific list for those settings. Engine mount bolts, they're going to need to be checked regularly with servicing or just routine maintenance, just to check over and make sure nothing's loosening up. Very important. When you're using a tension wrench, you know what you get to. Once you've done it a couple of times, you can become familiar with the tensions and you might you won't need to use it, but it is important to know what they are.